Well, thank you for joining us. This is a parent information video for you to see and hear a little bit about our year ahead at Columbia Academy and some of the great opportunities for your child. First of all, uh, we do anticipate a regular school year next year. That means all students will be back in school, that we would be back in uniforms, and that we would uh, not have to wear masks or social distance. That is what we anticipate. That is what we hope for. And I am quite confident that that is how it will be. It will be getting back to a much more normal school year. So that's great to look forward to. No matter uh, what, though, this year with the pandemic and all of the years before, at Columbia Academy, we've really focused on two things. One is that everybody knows that they belong, that this is their team, of uh, that they are an important part of it, and that by working hard and by doing the right thing, we rise up together. And so with that, we want to make sure your child is realizing their amazing potential. Uh, every child brings their gifts, uh, but they bring this uh, development that they are going through in middle school still to become all that they can be. So we work with you. Uh, our commitment, a uh, strong commitment, is to every child to have uh, that team approach home and school, believing in each child and working with them to rise up. We do have, uh, I think, a, a very broad but uh, also very deep academic program where, if I can sum it up in one way, is that we try very hard to bring the appropriate balance of challenge and support, again, to each child. So with that, uh, we do run a schedule that's an every other day schedule, uh, but students all have math every day. So this is the only class that children will have at Columbia Academy every day. Other classes run every other day, and they'll be running for, we believe, 70 minutes a class, and that will include then English, social studies, science, and PE. Um, health. So these classes are what we call our core, uh, along with math. They run every other day. We do have, though, uh, what we call challenge and support classes. That includes honors, accelerated math, English, social studies, and science. Uh, we do run in the middle of the day. Each day next year, we anticipate a at least a half an hour of homework help for students uh, that they can access teachers and get their work done and ask any questions that they, they may have. In addition, we do have support classes. Those support classes are for those who are struggling in a particular area in school. And with that, we can kind of like our math, uh, it is possible for us to increase the time decrease the number of students uh, to provide that additional support. So we believe that uh, our students are able to, uh, again, uh, succeed and uh, grow through the curriculum and the great teaching that, we, that I see every time that I visit our classrooms. In addition, Columbia uh, Heights Public Schools has always uh, had a very proud motto that we offer worlds of opportunity to our students. And I think that Columbia Academy is a good example of that. Within our school system, the number of electives and the quality of the electives at uh, Columbia Academy are extremely high. So in band, for example, we go all the way from beginning uh, to advanced and to Highlander, which is even um, is, is sort of our, our very, very highest band. So if your child is coming in sixth grade, most likely, to, to Columbia Academy and they took band at elementary, they'll probably go into intermediate, but they'll be able to advance uh, to each year that they are here um, to an even higher band. So uh, in choir, we will have a sixth grade choir, and then we have a seventh, eighth grade combined choir, 
We have lots of music exploration uh, classes as well for those who may not want to stay in these year-long classes and take a semester instead. Theater, uh, we have theater classes available to all of our sixth graders. Seventh and eighth graders can sign up for them. And this year, we even next year, we'll even have an advanced class as well. And if you've ever seen a CA musical, you'll know that we have got some amazing, amazing young uh, actors in our school. Art, we have uh, at each grade level, we have art that includes so many different things, painting and drawing, clay, uh, digital art, and even a sculpture uh, elective as well. Next year, we will have a full range of Spanish classes for students from exploration, uh, which are semester long, to Spanish one, which is a year long, and then heritage Spanish for students who already speak Spanish at home. We'll also have Arabic uh, for the very first time in our building, and we're excited about that. We'll offer that to eighth graders um, and uh, they will, would be able to continue taking Arabic, Arabic then at ninth grade in the high school. And finally, engineering. We have three different courses that students can take and uh, really build up their engineering skills and continue on with uh, these uh, engineering classes at the high school. So we use a program called um, Project uh, Lead the Way, and it's a very... Uh, very rigorous course, but also very fun, hands-on work uh, that our students do. So those are some of the choices that students can make in terms of, in addition to the core subjects that we talked about. We also have AVID. AVID is a short way of saying advancement via individual determination. AVID is uh, a program we have to help students get on a college readiness pathway. So if your child's kind of sitting in the middle and you want to boost them and get them uh, thinking about college, getting ready for college, we do offer AVID from seventh grade all the way up through the high school. Uh, just a plug for this. Uh, uh, I know that the last time the high school had looked, they were getting close to 100% of their students who had gone through the AVID program in Columbia Heights, close to 100%. Uh, accepted into college. So it's a very, very strong program. You do have to apply for that, but that is another opportunity here at Columbia Academy. Leadership development, we believe in building the leadership of our kids. So we have different opportunities, student council um, and grade six, seven, eight web leaders to help sort of lead the building and welcome sixth graders in grade eight. And then we have specific uh, boys and girls leadership teams in each of our grades as well more opportunities to help your child realize their full potential. And then after school activities, in all three grade levels, uh, we just have an amazing array of them. Uh, robotics, which goes uh, from very the very first week of school all the way into January, sometimes even February. We've had a very successful robotics program here. We have a large robotics program. We do partner with the high school. We partner with uh, another school district as well, excuse me. And so uh, it's, it's a great, great activity for, for students led by um, one of our math teachers and one of our former math teachers. We also have a musical uh, every year that's just amazing. That takes most of the fall to get ready. And then they usually perform in, in January. We have a marimba band that uh, is led by one of our band teachers, just an amazing uh, sound that they produce. Encore, just like at the elementaries, we have so many different school classes to choose from every three months. And then, for the first time ever, we are going to be offering athletics for sixth grade in addition to seventh and eighth. So all students coming into Columbia Academy will have the opportunity to play in on our sports teams, including football, soccer, basketball, volleyball, and track. So uh, just an amazing um, uh, set of coaches that we have for each of these that they and who make sure that it's fun, uh, that the kids learn and they compete hard. But uh, we're really proud of our athletics here 
and the opportunity as well in our district for students who excel uh, to move up and actually compete with the high school students on varsity athletics. So, so many after great after school activities for kids and we encourage our kids to participate in that. So uh, what are our expectations then and more specifically for the upcoming school year? One, we will be back to uniforms. Uh, we did not require them this year, but we, we have a Columbia Academy uniform that you can purchase online. Uh, we will use binders. We have a special binder that protects the student's computer, carries all their stuff in one place. And we have, uh, these are the, the two things that we ask that parents purchase. Our regular school day will probably be the same as it was pre-pandemic, which is 8.20 to 3.15, five days a week. And we will continue, though, to use Schoology on Chromebooks uh, for our in-school classes. That means we're not going to be Zooming our classes, but we will use Schoology to organize ourselves and provide materials to kids. So what about online learning? It would be very limited, uh, maybe some specific situations. Uh, there'd be more details to come on this. But largely, again, we are back to a normal school year where we will be uh, studying uh, together in classrooms here at Columbia Academy. So here's an example of what uh, the case it looks like uh, that our students carry in different colors. Um, and they can put their computer into this side pocket and it's padded to protect it, uh, which is important because <laughs> things do, uh, things happen. And uh, so this is, we, we ask our students to carry, if they have a computer, which all of them do, that they carry it in this case. It. This is an example of our uniform shirt. We also have uh, fleeces, uh, sweatshirts, and then we ask that you buy khaki or blue pants to accompany this. But we'll sell the uniforms, uh, we'll sell the case it's, we'll, and we'll give you some dates when you can do that. So next steps for you, just uh, to note, if your student did go to uh, a school here in Columbia Heights, Valley View, North Park or Highland, they are automatically registered for the next school year. Uh, we will, uh, if you didn't, if your child did not, uh, you can register in the placement center, which is next to the high school. You certainly can call us as well if you have questions. We will have an open house. It's scheduled for Tuesday, August 31st at 4 o'clock. And we'll look forward to seeing uh, parents there. And then the first day of school will be Tuesday, September 7th. And we will be communicating more information about how that first week of school will look. Finally, if you really would like to have uh, you know, a little more information and chance for your child to come and see our big building, I know that that was hard this year. You are always welcome to make a, uh, an appointment to do so. Uh, I'd be happy to do it myself or one of our other administrators to make sure that uh, you get to see a, uh, the building along with your child. So just give us a call and we can make that arrangement. So uh, with that, we also have all this information available shortly in Spanish. And so we will uh, look forward to uh, posting that as well. So thank you. We appreciate uh, you taking the time to watch this, and we are so excited to have your child be part of our Columbia Academy team next year. All the best from Columbia Academy.